Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about this kind of the stair. So this stair I did not in any uh, model in place. This is just, as you can see, the staircase. So in this tutorial I will show you how you can create kind of the staircase. Uh, there's some techniques which you can use in your project. If you are ready, let's get started. First of all, let's create a new project. As always, we will do it in the some uh, Autodesk template, not any some special one. Here is the Autodesk template, as you can see, and we are inside of that. Let's go to the staircase, and here we have like monolith one. We we will use the monolithic one, so this one. And let's draw it because I, right now I don't have any. Um, any reference to draw, I will draw it like only from my mind, let's say like that. Straight away I will create the uh, from the scratch, so I not will use any special one. And let's create our stairs from the boundaries. As I remember, it will be like that, so... As I said, right now I'm doing the only by memory, so yeah, we can use this as like a reference actually, but... Um, I just want to show you the techniques, not copying my previous staircase. This will be a bad idea. Okay, so uh, the reason why it's uh, hard to create actually the kind of staircases because it's too complicated for the Revit. This is the reason why it's complicated. Um, for example, Revit cannot uh, properly create, uh, for example, the lines. For example, what I want, what I want to say to you, as you can see, here is the line. For Revit, it's really hard uh, situation in this area. So if you will have a look here, actually here is the, a bit rounded, and after that line, let's do the same thing to be uh, more honest. Uh, I mean, the more right. Let's go to the line. It's something like that, and after that it's going a bit rounded, like that. Now it's more correct. Um, let me, I will create a few more rises, and you will see how it will work. Don't forget, here we have a kind of the um, center point, and we should a bit rotate our line. Uh, actually, I'm not matter. Uh, I not will matter of the right of, of the my stair, as I said. I wanna just show you how it's work. Let me. I will place some of the uh, some of the rises. Maybe it will be like that. Actually, it's not so right because it's not it's not going the just a straight. But it's not matter for uh, for, for now. It's not doesn't matter. We can change it later on. Let's go to the stair path. And here what we should do. If you will say finish, uh, the Revit will try to create a staircase by his own. But uh, the the main thing, if you want to create really right uh, stair, you should create the, your stair path uh, manually. For example, I understand my stair going a bit round, so I will use the arc and I will create it manually like this. I trying to show to Revit it's a bit rounded. Let me I will try it to create. And as you can see, this is a problem. What I wanna say to you, Revit saying I cannot create the kind of the stair. And what you should do? Actually, it's not so complicated the stair, but you need it. So. Uh, <laughs> Let me, I will correct it and I will show you how it's work. Let me, I will delete uh, some of the uh, rises and we will do it more correct. I want to make, make it more closely like the reference. Actually, if you want to download the reference, you will find the link below. So it's, n it's not secret how I did it, so you can use it in your own project. So and one more rise and it will be much, much better. Okay, as you can see now it's more better. Let me will create the, again the stair path and as you can see it's still not working. Yes, it is true. What I will gonna do? I will select everything what I can see. I will copy it and I will delete. I no need for example this line now. Let me I will delete this line and I will try to create part by part. Let's go to the boundary 
and we will create boundary somewhere here. Let's try like that. We will delete the, uh, the path and let's use the trim. Where is our trim extended? And let me uh, change it like this. Now everything is approximately because I don't know exactly where Revit will say it's not working. I'm doing just uh, like it's guessing. Let's say OK. And as you can see, it's working. If we will go to the 3D, we create part of the stair, as you can see. And as you can see, here's the, some problem. We can fix it later on, actually. Maybe we will divide it much more, but it doesn't matter right now. OK, we did it. Half, half we already done. So what we're gonna do next? As you can see, we're, not, we're still creating our stair. So we can now create one more sketch path. But it's not will be the same. We just creating the another stair in one group of the stair. Let me will go to the level one again. And if you remember, we copied it before. Let me will pay, paste it to the current view. So now I need the boundary. And let me will place the boundary exactly on the same line. I don't need this path line. I don't need this boundary. And I will need. I need the trim. Let me will trim it. Everything one by one. And I hope this part Revit can create. I'm not sure, but we hope of that. Let me will select everything and copy it. Just just in case. And let me will show the path again. Let's say okay. And finally, Revit saying he can, he can create it. And this is the trick thing. As you can see, this is different way, uh, ways the showing, I mean, the uh, flipping our uh, stair. Let me, I will select this part of the stair and I will just copy it. Let me copy it and I will delete it exactly. Let's say OK. Now what am we going to do? Once Revit will create this stair, of course, we don't need any uh, handrail. Uh, let me will create the another one stair and I will paste it here to the exactly level one. Now we can flip it. Why I didn't flip inside in that uh, uh, stair? If we flip it there, the, this uh, stair also will flip. So you just uh, will get the same result but flipped. It's really bad one. Let's select it. Let's say zero. And as you can see, it's now exactly in the place. Let's select it again. And now we just cut to the clipboard. Let's cut it to the clipboard and we not will save anything. Let's go back to the this stair and let's paste it. Let's paste it to the level one. And as you can see, it's exactly on the same place. So yeah, this is uh, some stupid thing, but it's working. It's working and you can continue by this way. And now you just should continue it to create your stair by this way. Yeah, it uh, look, uh, looks n not, not so complicated, but uh, actually you cannot say this is so easy. But anyway, as you can see, uh, here I have like one, two, three, four parts only in the landing side. And here I already have like one union stair, as you can see. And here it's the same way. So here, let me will create one more part. Uh, I will go to the top view. As you can see, I'm working now in 3D. Why not? It's possible. Let me will go to the landing and also I will use the create, create the by path. And I can use this path right now. Uh, let me will create uh, like maybe, no, it's a bad way. We can do something like that. And after that, we will get exactly the radius from uh, our stair because I don't know right now the uh, exactly radius. Uh, Say so here we can create our own radius because uh, it can, can be not the same. Let me will make it like this. And one more boundary will be like that. And as you can see, we should get something like that. Let me will say OK. And as you can see, we get exactly the landing side where we want it. And it's working. And we can uh, just uh, create, I mean, continue to create our ramp path. Let me will go to the ramp. As I said, I will create one more. Uh, here, the same thing, boundary, let's use the, select the boundary because I, as I said again, I don't know the radius, uh, let me we'll make the radius still here, uh, maybe a bit extended, like this, everything now approximately, so 
when you're creating a kind of uh, stair, it's really hard to create it because you should uh, first uh, create the, some sketch of that. Only after that you should start to um, start to construct it. Let's say like that. And let's maybe we'll place one by one. One. To actually, I should use here the radius, but I'm too lazy. Uh, and don't make so small the. Uh, actually, we should make it like this. Yeah, much better. But uh, as I said, now it's just everything approximately. Approximately, we did it. Go to the stair path, and here it's really important to create by your own stair path. Why? Uh, as you can see, I did it like that, but Revit will trying to create your stair path just straight. If it's not will be possible, the Revit will say, oh, I cannot to create the, your stair. If you uh, don't want this message, mm, create by your own the stair path and you not will see the kind of the problem. You will see other one, but not this one. Let me will say OK, and as you can see, everything all right. We st start continue. Oh, we still continue create our stair. But as I say, as you see, the same thing. The stair again, uh, looking on the other side. If you will select it and you will click on the flip, as I said, you will flip all your uh, stair. And as you can see, it cannot make the stair. Let's cancel it. So to uh, uh, to solve this problem, you select it go to the cut and clipboard, say OK, create the new one. Yeah, I know this is noisy, but uh, this is working. And I don't think so, you have a lot of the type of kind of stair. Select it again, use the cut, cut to clipboard, don't, uh, don't save it, go back to the your stair, original one, and paste on the right uh, level. For example, to level one, and as you can see, everything all right. Just be careful with that and you can continue to create. Let's say OK. And now the magic, uh, as you can see, uh, our level to going to the level 2. Here you can change, for example, to the, the 12 because our uh, rises it's now too small. And now it's much better. And as you can see, it's working. So by this, I think a simple way you can create any kind of the roof. Just combine different parts uh, till Revit will possible to create this geometry. The reason why Revit cannot create this kind of geometry it's here. It's below. As you can see, it's a bit hard to Revit create this um, radius because Revit trying to make it straight. But your stair, your rises, it's not straight. And once uh, you will create it, Revit will always have here the problem. But I don't think this is uh, a lot, a lot big problem. Once you will create model in place, of course, it's not good for BIM. Yeah, your mm, data from your stair will be not so correct. But it will be correct for the rises, for the material, everything else. Okay, guys, if you found this really useful just let me know below the comments and i will try to show you more trick it's actually i don't like the word the trick i will show you the more ways how you can uh, solve any problems in revit thank you guys for watching and see you next time